Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to use the user invite functionality within Flask user. So the reason why I'm making this video is because the documentation for Flask user isn't quite clear on how to do this. So I thought I'd make a video on showing you how to do it and explain some of the things that are going on. But before I get into that, I just wanna mention I have a course called the Flask Extensions course available. I cover a few extensions, uh, I think about 12 here that are very common in Flask. So if you're building a Flask app, chances are you're gonna use several of these extensions. So I just made a course on how to use all these and how to solve some common problems that you'll run into when you use these extensions. So if you're interested in the course, just go down to the link below or you can go to my website, prettyprinter.com. There's gonna be a link there to take you to the course, the Flask extensions course. So for the example, I've already set it up and I have a user registered. And if I go over to my code, Basically what I have right now is a very simple setup for a Flask user app. So I have my user table and I'm using the uh, email login. So I have enable email here and enable username is false. So I'm using emails only. Just know that if you're inviting users by email, then you have to have the enable email turned on. So that's why I'm mentioning that. Um, I have my email stuff set up here. I'm gonna change my password so I don't try to send emails with my account. And then these two configuration values down here, user enable invite user and user require invitation are the ones that I'll be demonstrating in this video. So I just have a home page which you just saw and it just has a bunch of links. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you what it looks like when you require invitation. So right now, if I go back to my app and I go to, let's open this in a new container. If I go to register, it allows me to register here. So that's exactly what you expect. But if I go back and switch this to true, so require invitation to true, and then I go back to the app and refresh the page, then I get this error saying registration is invite only. So when I have registration as invite only, how do I invite people? Well, there's this other configuration value that you have to worry about, and it's called user enable invite user but this isn't the only thing that you have to do. So if I put that to true and go back to the app, we'll see something happen here. I get a config error. So basically it's telling me I need a user invitation class uh, to use this user enable invite user. But the thing is the documentation doesn't tell you exactly what the user invitation class is. So I'll go ahead and create one now. So I'll go up here to my models section. This is just one file, but just imagine I had a file for models and I'm going to create a new model. So I'm gonna call this model user invitation. So user invitation. And it's going to inherit from db.model. Doesn't have to inherit from the user mixin. And of course, I'm gonna have an ID because it's a SQL Alchemy model and all of them have IDs. And I'll set the primary key is true. And then for this model, I need two fields and two fields only. One field is going to be an email field and the other field is going to be an invited by user ID field. So these two names have to be exactly like they're written here. And the reason is, is because Flask user is going to be looking at this class and then getting those fields to do something with them. In this case, it's going to save the email that the user invites and it's going to save the ID of the user who sent the invitation in the first place. So I'll show you that in the database in a moment. But first, let me just create the columns. So the email column is just a string. So I'll just make it a string of length 100. And the invited by user ID is going to be an integer. But it's also going to be a foreign key back to my user table. So in this case, the name of my table in the database is users, table name users here, and then dot ID. So that creates a foreign key back to the user table. And because I have db.createAll within my create app function here, it's going to create the database when it refreshes, which it just did, or it's gonna create the new table in the database, which it just did. And now I can take this user invitation class and I can pass it to my user manager class here when I instantiate it. So it's going to be a keyword argument and the name of the argument is user invitation class 
equals and then the actual class name. So if this is in a different file, you have to make sure you import the class first and then you can assign it here. Unfortunately, Flask user doesn't have any kind of init app, so you just have to use the uh, user manager here, but you don't really do anything with the user manager afterwards in most cases, so I suppose it's fine in this case. So if I add that, it should work, so let's see. Okay, so now I see it working again, but how do I actually invite a user? So if I go to the template, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a link that only logged in users can see and it will allow them to invite someone. So if I go to the template here, it's just a list of links. What I'm going to do is I'm going to check if the current user is authenticated, which means they're logged in. So authenticated. And I'll just put the end if down here. And if they happen to be authenticated, I want to show another link. So this is going to be pointing to URL four and then user.invite user. And then let's see, I have the link. Okay, and then uh, invite user. I'll just call it that. So now if I go back to my app in the one that I'm logged in, I see this link here for invite user. If I refresh this one, the link doesn't show up because I'm not logged in. So now I want to click this and this is the page for inviting a user and I just have to put in an email and click invite. So here I have some temporary email thing and I'll put the email in, hit invite and it should send the email. And I'll just go over and I'll wait for the email to appear. Let me refresh. And there we go. So we see, uh, dear, you know, this email you've been invited to join. Uh, of course, you can customize all this text if you want, but this is the default behavior. And then here you just open the link. I'll open it in the same environment. The email is already there. And then you can just add a password and then register. And now I'm logged in as this user that was just invited to the app. And if you wanted to see the database, let me just open it up. I can look at my table. So I have the user invitation table. And I'll just select star from user invitation. And we see that the email and the user ID that invited this particular user are saved there in that table. So if you want to have the ability to invite users, this is how you do it. If you want to make your app invite only, just change that configuration that I showed you and you'll be able to make your app invite only. So that's all I have for this video. Just remember, if you wanna learn more about the Flask extensions for me, check out my course. Like I said, there's a link in the description below. If you have any questions about this video, please leave a comment down below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe to my channel. So thank you for watching and I will talk to you next time.